In September 2025, official footage showed the Chinese carrier Fujian launching and recovering a Shenyang J-35 stealth multi-role fighter using electromagnetic catapults. It was the first publicly shown email's launch and recovery of a stealth fighter from a carrier. Over the past year, China actually revealed two variants of the J-35, the carrier-based J-35 for the Navy and the land-based J-35A for the Air Force. Together with the Chengdu J-20, the J-35 makes China the only country other than the United States with two distinct stealth fighter types. So, in today's video, we're exploring what's confirmed about the J-35 and J-35A, what remains uncertain, and what this platform could mean for China's air and naval power over the next few years. Let's dive in. The J-35 traces back to Shenyang's FC-31, a twin-engine stealth demonstrator that first flew in 2012. FC-31 was an industry-led effort to prove a smaller, export-friendly stealth fighter and to mature key technologies such as shaping, diverterless inlets, internal bays, before a service order. As prototypes evolved, the concept split. One variant incorporated naval hardware for catapult operations at sea, while the other pursued a lighter, runway-focused configuration. The concrete milestone came in September 2025 when Chinese media outlets released Fujian deck footage of the J-35 launching and recovering via electromagnetic catapults. The sequences show a coordinated pattern with other aircraft on the deck, such as the J-15T, a catapult-capable derivative of China's carrier fighter as well as the KJ-600, a carrier-borne airborne early warning aircraft. The J-35 follows contemporary low observable practice. Diverterless inlets reduce radar returns and parts count. Serpentine ducts help hide the engine face. Panel lines and bay doors show deliberate edge alignment. Primary weapons ride internally during the opening phase of a mission. Public figures remain reported rather than official, but consistent open sources place the length around 17.3 meters and the wingspan near 11.5 meters, situating the jet in a medium class between heavyweight twins and compact single-engine stealth designs. You will also see the maximum takeoff weight reported in the high 20-ton bracket. The geometry and ground photos suggest internal bays sized for current Chinese air-to-air -air weapons, with provision for external pylons once survivability demands ease. Engines are the biggest variable. Early airframes in this lineage were associated with WS-13 series power plants. Later prototypes are widely assessed to have flown with WS-21 in testing, and the intended production fit is understood to be WS-19. If WS-19 meets thrust and reliability targets, the J-35 gains the margin it needs for climb and combat radius, with the possibility of limited supercruise in clean configurations. Avionics aren't published in full, but context from late block J-20 reporting and show coverage points to an ESA radar, electro-optical and infrared sensors, a helmet-mounted system, and a distributed aperture suite, along with data links into broader PLA networks. The air-to-air -air picture is clearer because of what China displayed in 2024, a folding fin PL-15 variant tailored for internal bays. The intent, as reported, is to raise internal beyond visual range missile carriage. Many assessments list four BVR aims internally as a baseline and suggest a path to six, depending on bay dimensions and ejector layout. For a medium stealth fighter, that matters. More internal shots stretch the time you can fight clean before adding pylons. Air-to-surface options are expected but less visible in open sources. The bay geometry will ultimately cap internal strike loads. Electromagnetic catapults also change the performance calculus. 
Emails can meter launch energy more precisely than steam, which should be gentler on coatings and structures and more repeatable for a given weight. In practical terms, that widens the window for useful fuel and weapons at takeoff, subject to the real-world test of whether deck crews can maintain those settings through night cycles and less friendly sea states. In early October 2025, state media released video and stills from inside Shenyang facilities showed multiple green-primed J-35 and J-35A airframes in assembly bays. Independent access is limited. Nonetheless, the imagery reported by outlets such as Global Times and Defense Security Asia indicates movement beyond one-off prototypes toward low-rate builds. Paired with the carrier clips, this suggests the program is entering a more regular integration phase. The pacing items to watch are a declared engine standard on delivered jets, squadron-level training tempo, and evidence that coatings, seals, and deck hardware hold up under salt, heat, and abrasion as hours accumulate. The J-35A deserves a concise comparison. It keeps the core shaping and internal bay concept, but drops folding wings, uses a single nose wheel, and trims naval weight penalties for runway operations. Dimensions are reported to be similar because the airframe is shared. The mission set on land tilts toward counter-air, escort, and internal strike when survivability demands it, with external stores added once the threat picture allows. Avionics are expected to be broadly similar and the propulsion story is the same. In force structure terms, the logic is straightforward. J-20 as the long-reach air dominance and sensing platform. J-35 or J-35A as the more numerous multi-role complement on deck and runway. The next proof points aren't glamorous, but they decide combat value. A settled engine fit, documented night and bad weather deck cycles at tempo, heavyweight emails launches with useful fuel and weapons, and evidence that maintainers can turn the jets without quickly eroding low observable treatments. On land, look for deliveries to operational units that match the show geometry and training rhythms that move beyond isolated test flights. If those arrive together, the J-35 shifts from highlight to habit. The J-35 is moving from test footage to real integration, with one variant for carrier decks and one for runways. What matters now is execution, a settled engine fit, repeatable deck cycles in all weather, and deliveries to frontline units that match the airshow geometry. If those pieces come together, China adds depth to its stealth toolkit, if they do not, the J-35 remains a capable but limited niche. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analysis.